Hello people, this is Self Turks and in this video we are going to learn about an important concept of Docker. So if you have learned Docker or if you have uh, read some blogs or if you have uh, used Docker then you must have seen this command of Docker run and then a minus P flag and then a port configuration of this nature that is there is a port on the left hand side then there is a colon and then there is another port on the right hand side. So this is a very important command to run your Docker containers and there is a minus P flag. So we'll dig deep inside that what is this minus flag what it does and how to use it so let's say there is a host machine and this host machine represent any machine let's say windows machine or linux machine where your operating system is running and you are running some programs now the outside world wants to contact to this host machine so the host machine needs two things to contact to the outside world first is what it is the ip address and second is the port so this host machine should get an ip address and there must be some program running on some port and you can access those programs using this ip address and the port now Let's say there is a Docker container which is running inside here and let's say they, this is Docker container 1 which is running Apache HTTP server on the port 80. So this is Apache HTTP server application is running inside the Docker container. So it is isolated from the host machine. So it is inside Docker container 1. So only people who are inside the Docker container 1 can access this particular apache web server it is not exposed to the outside world because it is isolated from the host machine now let's say there is another docker container and it is running mongodb so the default port on which mongodb runs is 27017 and in the docker container one there is apache http server and the default port on which it is running is port 80 now both these containers are present in this host machine but the applications which are running here are isolated from the host machine which means no one can access this uh, docker container 1 or docker container 2 applications without going inside to the docker container. So you need to go to the docker container by writing the docker exec command and then you can go inside the docker container and then you can interact with these application. But that is not a good scenario that is not a good case so in most of the cases what happens we need to contact to this particular application from the host machine itself so in that case let's say we have a port 8080 on this host machine and this host machine port 8080 will be linked to the apache http server port 80 which is running inside the docker container using that minus p flag so again if there is a 9080 port to which we want to connect this particular MongoDB that is port 27017 then that minus P flag will help us to do that which means that we will access this 8080 port on our host machine and that will forward all the requests to this docker container on port 80. So port 80 is present inside the docker container 1 and 8080 port is present inside the host machine. So if anyone calls this 8080 port then internally it will forward or relay all the requests to this port 80 of docker container 1 and if someone sends a request to 9080 then it will be forwarded to the docker container 2 on the port 27017. So let's say we want to read all the users that are stored inside the mongodb so actually the request will come here on 9080 and it will be forwarded to this docker container 2 using on this port 27017 using that minus p flag now the minus p flag is used something like this that is docker minus p host port colon docker port and then the image name so the image that you want to run or from which you want to create a container is the image name and you are uh, connecting this host port which means the port that is present on the host machine to the docker port which means to the docker container that you are running so 8080 will be connected to 80 so here we will write on the place of this host port we'll write 8080 and on the docker port we'll write 80 same way for if you are using this mongodb image then we will use this 9080 on the host port and 27017 27017 on the docker port so this will help us to link this particular host port to the docker port using this minus p flag now we'll take an example of this docker container one that is we will use a apache http server to see this minus p flag that we are using to connect our host machine port to the 
Docker container port. So we'll see the magic of this minus P flag. So I'll go to my Chrome browser here and we'll search for HTTP D Docker. So this will give us a result here, HTTP Docker Hub. So it will take us to this hub.docker.com and it will show us the images for this HTTP D. So there is this Docker pull HTTP D and what I have done, I have already the, uh, fired that particular command here. So if I type Docker images, then you can see that HTTP D image is already present here. Now I'll try to create a Docker container out of it. But before that, this particular Docker container that is present here, that is Apache HTTP server has a port 80 exposed inside the Docker container. It is still not linked to the outside world. So if I start it here, let's say Docker run and then HTTP D. So this will start in the foreground mode so that you can see the logs here. Now I'll come to my Chrome browser and my and the Linux box that I'm running is having this IP address of 127.0.0 dot one which is equal to localhost so what i'll do here i'll type localhost and since it is port 80 so i'll access the port 80 so if i reload it port 80 so nothing is coming so you can see that it is still loading and there is nothing present here now what i'll do i'll try to load this particular 8 8080 port that is present here. So this particular host machine has all these ports 8080. So you can put any port between 1 to 6, uh, 65,500 and something. There's a range out of it. So you can select any port and you can attach your application to that. So let's say 8080 port is there. So I'll try to access that 8080 port here. So I'll say colon 8080. So if I reload it, so you can see the site can't be this. So that was the cache that was present here it works but now if i reload it so it is not working it is saying that this site can't be reached why it is happening because i have not used this minus p flag during uh, when i started the docker container so this 8080 port is not linked to this port 8 here it is still not connected now see the magic here i'll come here i'll do a control c and i'll again run docker run with minus p flag and i'll say 8080 with 80 and then this particular uh, image name. So that is HTTPD. So I'll run it here and you can see that again the logs are coming here and I'll come to my Chrome browser and this time again I'll reload it and you can see it is working. It is saying it works. So I am I'm able to access the HTTPD image which is present here. If I go to my browser here, so now you can see that there will be some logs here when I hit the request. So again, I come to this particular Chrome browser, I'll hit the request and you can see here the request has been received. Now I'll do a control C and let's say I want to attach this particular HTTPD server to port 9002. So I can access any port or I can choose any port between one to 65,000 something. There are some reserved ports, so don't, it doesn't matter much, but you can use any of these ports. So again, I'll hit enter and this time I'll go to my Chrome browser again and I'll try to reload it. So it is saying the site can't be reached. Why? Because I have to use, I have not connected this 8080 port to port 80. So you can see here that I have used the command what 9002 and I have connected it to port 80. I have not used 8080. That's why when I'm reloading it in, on the uh, browser, so it is saying the site can't be reached. Now let's see what happens if I use 9002 and I hit enter, it says it works. So what is happening? This 8080 port was replaced by 9002. And whenever a request is coming to this particular port, that is 9002, it is delegating that particular request to port 80. If, it, if the port 8080 has been connected, so all the requests that will be coming to 8080 will be delegated to this particular port 80 of this docker container one because we are using this command we will use docker and then run will be there and this minus p so this minus p is important so that a connection can be made between the host machine port and the docker container port so this was all about this video hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you